and kind. So as I was saying, some people getting laid off. All right, you you, you got a, uh, you know you you, you got the, uh, you know got these now hiring signs right here. No one's willing to work like that. Okay, and this whole Devoc ninety one situation, this whole global pestilence, you know, has further affected people, you know, and how they function. Okay, you know. They got, you know, in uh, case in point, ran to this Issacharite lady. She looked like Issachar. Um, you know, Northern Kina woman, nonetheless. You know, uh, you know what I'm saying? To Walmart, she's like, oh, you, you ain't wearing your, your face covering. Because down here in Texas, uh, <laughs> Governor Abbott, you know, uh, 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 Greg Abbott, made it to where he uh, came out with these face covering mandates, man. We don't really have to wear it like that down here. A lot of people don't know about that. So when they see somebody not wearing a, a face covering down here, they're, they're a little, uh, you know, like a little appalled, you know, you know, somewhat shocked, you know, you know, because this, this, the wine of this place or the wine of Babylon the Great, the wine of fornication, okay, is wearing off and people are starting to sober up off of this wine. And they're starting to ask more questions and they're starting to, they're starting to see something is terribly wrong with this place, man. This place is circling a dream, Okay. Now, case in point, economically speaking, is on uh, businessinsider.com. It says a record-breaking 44 container ships are stuck off the coast of California. All right. So I'm going to go back to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish in Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. But I wanted to bring this out real quick. You know, it says freight ships siding off the coast of California in January. U.S. ports have experienced some of the worst bottlenecks in more than a decade throughout the uh, DVOC 91 pestilence. 44 container ships are stuck outside California ports, worsening shipping delays and costs. This tops the previous pestilence record set in February of 40 ships. The, the ports account for about one third of U.S. imports, serving as a main source of trade with China. So a lot of these goods and services, man, are not going to be going to not going to are not going to be going to these, uh, you know, to these businesses. They're relying on these goods and services uh, uh, to stay afloat. All right. And to continue to navigate in a society. Okay. Relying on their on their on their necessities. It says forty four freight ships are stuck awaiting entry into California's two largest ports, the highest number recorded since the beginning of the Devoc ninety one pestilence, the Marine Exchange of Southern California reported on Saturday. It says that the queue is a, is, a, is a result of the labor shortage, Devoc ninety one related disruptions, and holiday buying surges. Port of Los Angeles data indicated that the ship's average wait time had increased to 7.6 uh, days. Okay. You know, so hey, man, this says California ports in Los Angeles and Long Beach account for about one third of U.S. imports. These ports operate as a primary source of imports from China and have experienced heavy congestion throughout the pestilence. Part of the problem is the ships are double or triple the size of the ships we were seeing 10 or 15 years ago. Lewis said, they take longer to unload. You need more trucks, more trains, more warehouses to put the cargo. Okay. It says, while the, co the container ships are forced to anchor and wait berth space, companies importing and exporting goods to and fro Asia expect additional shipping delays. You know, so this, this, is, uh, this is major news right here, man. On top of the Social Security situation, you know, on top of the, especially top of the unemployment ending this week, you say. You know, these, these eviction moratoriums already ended. All right, hey man. So this 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 place is uh this place is finished, man. Okay, you know. And then you got uh you got artificial intelligence compromising uh you know the the uh the market the the, the labor the labor force. Okay, you know because there's gonna be a surplus of, of work out here. There's gonna be a, a, a demand of work, you know, on behalf of uh, uh you know on on behalf of the masses. All right. But this devil is not going to have any use for uh, uh, use for our labor pretty soon. Okay. You know, so, hey, man, this, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In a day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few. And those that look out of the windows be darkened. A lot of people looking out of their, 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 their uh, for lease, you know, uh, 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 you know, the buildings with for lease signs on them, going bankrupt and whatnot. These small businesses being hit, uh, uh, uh as a freight effect of the, of, the, of the pestilence, you see? Because the Lord is judging, he's judging, he's, he's visiting earth through terrible judgment, man. Okay, and pestilence is one of his plagues uh, of that terrible judgment that is prophesied, man. And that's that freight indicates that we live in these, in these perilous times, these last days, man. Ecclesiastes 12 and 4, And the door shall be shut in the streets 
when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Okay, you know, so so no more bread and circuses. Okay, you know, no 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 more no more uh, uh, partying bullshit out here. Okay, you know, no no more no no more grinding during the week and then partying during the weekend. Okay, the Heavenly Father's pulling the plug on this place. Okay, and we see it. Uh, look what happened to Cam Newton, Cam Thruton. <laughs> you know, he got dropped by New England, by the New England Patriots, because he refused to get the juice. Okay. And oh, uh, 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 my man D Hop, what's his name? Uh, 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 Wa uh, uh, Watson, I think his name is, uh, the wide receiver from the uh, uh, Arizona Cardinals. He's he's uh, debating retirement. He's he's mad young. He's he's debating retiring to avoid taking the juice. So a lot of a lot of these players, a lot of these a lot of these uh, a lot of these people that are conformed to this world, a lot of these people that are in a limelight, um, so to say, are going to uh, are going to be more on the forefront. You know, rejecting this agenda, man. You see, and it's gonna it's gonna further force, and a lot of people look up to these celebrities, so it's gonna further force this devil's hand to come down with great wrath, all right, with, with his sword, the good old you know persuade people the good old fashioned way, okay, with his sword, you know, the same the same the same method he used uh, over two thousand years ago, when they were known as the Romans, okay, so gonna they're gonna hey, so the insurrection of the saints is near, pursuing a second Ezra's the sixteenth chapter. Dealing with Jacob's trouble, because this, this, in, uh, this is really going to affect us. That they're blaming this pestilence on us, and this pestilence is further affecting the economy. See, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get Revelation. Go ahead and end this off of Revelation. Get Revelation 18 and 11. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. You see what happened? You see what you see what's happening here? A record-breaking 44 container ships are stuck off the coast of California. Okay. Right here, and regarding shipping delays, and this is this is a further omen of what's to come. What's prophesied in Revelation 18 chapter? I'm bringing out here, Revelation 18 and 12. The merchandise of gold and of silver, and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble. Now merchandise in Greek is gomos. Okay, and you look that up. It means a, a freight of a ship. Basically, means a, a freight of a ship. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, you know, like dealing with a, a, a you know international trade. Okay, through these ma these minor and major docking points. Okay, including the Panama Canal. These devils uh, conquered during the 1989 Panama deception, affecting the tribe of Zebulon. So that word there for merchandise is, is gomos. The Greek word gomos meaning basically meaning freight of a ship or cargo or merchandise conveyed in the ship. You see, and those and those ships got a further delay, man. And it's a further omen of what's going to happen to, uh, you know, the the uh, the functioning of America economically speaking. Because there's going to be no more importing, no more exporting goods. The Lord's going to cut that off, man. Okay, and these these are the things that are prophesied that are happening, that are unfolding before our very eyes in these last days. Okay, for indicating that America is certainly drained, Babylon the Great. Okay, for seeing the Malachi the first chapter is eventually going to be impoverished again. Okay. Because our sins have reached the heavens. Revelation 18 and uh, 13. And cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. Okay. You know, so then these devils, we're not, these devils no longer gonna, are going to own slaves. People with social security numbers. Okay. By way of uh, the social security tax that was signed into law by, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Okay. You know, mainly the, the, the captives of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, Pursuna Joel, the third chapter. We're no longer going to be the slaves of this devil because Pursuna Lamentation, the fourth chapter, we're at the end of our prison sentence, so to say, man. Okay? Revelation 18 and 14. The fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee, and all, the, and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. Like it's prophesied in Job, uh, Job the 20th chapter. You devil's going to have to cough up the goods and services that you stole from the saints. Okay? Verse 15, the merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, and saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. And that's uh, the golden city, Babylon the Great, pursuing to Isaiah the 14th chapter. It says, For in one hour so great riches has come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors, and as many as traded by sea, stood afar off. 
and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? Okay, being burnt up in one hour. And so this was going to happen to America, Babylon Great, the great land of confusion. For being the most dreadful and terrible empire to ever exist. We're seeing in Daniel 7 7, Amos chapter 9, verse 8. You see? So, Lord, Yahweh by Shemesh Shai, and the angels are going to bring fire upon this place, man. Okay? Point blank, period. You're going to burn this place up. Okay? Due to concentrated heat of the chariots. See? You're going to tear this place apart. So, I'm going to end this off in Isaiah chapter 66, starting in verse 15. And for behold, the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So he's going to rebuke America sharply with fire, okay, through these chariots, these, these, these uh, self-proclaimed or these proclaimed uh, UFOs and, and uh, what, what, what else does the devil calls it? You, uh, um, uh, I forget what else he calls them. All right. Something phenomenon or something like that. You know, whatever the hell else this, this devil declassifies the chariots is, they're going to be the same vehicles that destroys it, this, uh, his empire. Verse 16, for by fire and by his, his sword will the Lord, Yahweh by Shemesh plead with all flesh. I mean, he's going to judge the flesh, the wicked, man, whose names are uh, written in the earth. And the slain of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemesh shall be many. So all, all you troops within the sixth branch of the military, if you don't get the hell out, man, by the time Yahweh Shah and the angels return, your ass is the grass, man. Because you, 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 pursuing a Jeremiah 51 and 30, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna be forborn to fight. You're going to forbear to fight, but he's going to make you fight. Okay, and your heart's gonna be trembling, and they're gonna, and a lot of your heart's gonna fail you because you're gonna see what you're fighting, because you're gonna, you're gonna realize you're, you're gonna be going up against a force pursuant to Isaiah the forty-seven chapter. Okay, so this is the fire that that our heavenly that that our, that our, our heavenly King, our our, our beloved uh, Lord and Savior, Shepherd and Bishop of our souls is gonna is gonna come with, man. Uh, you know, so this, this I'm going to end it off there. Lord willing, to further edify and exhort to the elect of Israel who come across this video. And with that, all right, I want to give all praises, glory, infinite honor to my power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashak, Avishai, Baharakak, Uh Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right. Shalom, honor, salutation to Bayasha, Dabada. All right. All right. Abad, Abad, DTA, Kwame, Allah. Shalom to you, elect. On to the next one.